ever wondered what's been happening with Bitcoin and other altcoins lately, well, wonder no more. Let's dive right in. First off, Bitcoin's price movements over the weekend were pretty uneventful, stabilizing at just over $64,000. Not too shabby. And while altcoins are usually more unpredictable, they've been pretty chill too, with a few exceptions. Now, but before we get into all of that, let's rewind a bit. Last week wasn't exactly smooth sailing for Bitcoin. It had recovered most of its losses from the uh, previous week, but then things took a turn. It dropped by five grand on Monday, and things only got worse from there. On uh, Tuesday, researchers saw even more declines, with BTC slipping to a two-week low of under $61,000. What was behind this sudden drop? Profit taking by certain investors and uncertainty around the number upcoming FOMC meeting. Makes sense, right? Uh, but then something interesting happened. The U.S. Federal Reserve announced that it wasn't going to change its monetary strategy, and Bitcoin suddenly jumped by 4%. It soared past $68,000 by Wednesday morning. That's what we call a comeback. However, that rally didn't last long. Bitcoin started losing ground again, and as of now, it's trading at around $64,000. Its market cap is flat at 1.26 D trillion CG. And its dominance is uh, 40, just slightly above 49%. Now, let's talk about altcoins. Most of them have been pretty calm, with Ethereum, Solana, and Binance coin charting insignificant losses. XRP, ADA, SHIB, and DOT, on the other hand, had jumped by about 1% to 2%. Dogecoin, the OG meme coin, has emerged as the top performer of the 15 largest crypto assets, with a 7% gain overnight. Right? Doge now sitting pretty above 17 cents. Uh, but wait, there's more. Bitcoin Cash, ICP, and OKB are the other impressive gainers with price increases of up to 8% in the case of OKB. The total crypto question market cap has declined slightly on a daily scale, sitting at just over $2.560 uh, trillion on CoinGecko. And that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in, folks. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.